Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the Space Station Flight Control Room. And the team is led again today by Flight Director Emily Nelson with Jack Fisher in the role of Capcom. On board the space station, the three members of the Expedition 34 crew currently living in space are more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time this morning. Commander Kevin Ford of NASA and Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin are all on board the space station and uh, have been there since October 25th when their Soyuz TMA-06M vehicle docked to the Russian Poisk module. Ford, Novitsky, and Tarelkin have been alone since their former crewmates, Sunny Williams, Aki Hoshide, and Yuri Malenchenko left last month, but that won't be the case for much longer. Next week, they'll be joined by the remainder of the Expedition 34 crew, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency, Tom Marshburn of NASA, and Roman Romaninko of Russia. Hadfield, Marshburn, and Romaninko are scheduled to launch on December 19th at 6.12 a.m. Central Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and they're already there in Kazakhstan awaiting their departure. In the meantime, Ford, Tarelkin, and Novitsky are hard at work holding down the fort, or station, while they wait. Ford spent the bulk of his day on maintenance activities working with the station's regenerative environmental control and life support system. That's the system that turns wastewater into drinking water for the crew. He also did some standard maintenance uh, on that system and then an analyzed the water it's produced to ensure that all the impurities have been removed and that it's safe and healthy for the astronauts to drink. Meanwhile today, Novitsky and Tarelkin have uh, also been working on housekeeping items. They've been ticking off several items on their to-do list, including progress unpacking, also window inspections of the Zvezda service module windows, and a tool and hardware inventory analysis that they performed yesterday and were looking uh, over the results of today. They're each spending a bit of time on science experiments as well, including studies on how crystals form in microgravity, the Earth's oceans, and human adaptation to spaceflight. That's what's been going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.